Okay, I have to drain the worm tea out of my bucket here. This is what the tea looks like, undiluted. You can mix one cup of this with five cups of water. And you wind up with something that looks like this. It's great for fertilizing your, you know, plants, flowers. You can use it in the garden. But that's what's in here, but not all clean and pretty like that. And I've been really lazy with this too, so there's a lot of muck and nasty stuff in here. Okay, well that's quite a bit of that warm juice. When you build this bottom tub, you want to make sure you got a brick or something in the bottom. I think the reason I've been so lazy is because I used a bad brick. I used one like this. And it collects a lot of muck and worms. I haven't wanted to mess with it, so that's why it got so bad. Okay, well, I emptied all that juice into a different pan. I'm going to empty this. Really super nasty. It's got a bunch of worms in it, too. I got a bunch of muck with worms in it and I don't know what to do with it. Okay, I've decided my best option with this flurry of stuff is I'm just going to feed it to the garden. It's got worms in there. I really don't want to try to filter this out. You know, if it was middle of winter, I probably would do it. But I'm just going to feed this to the garden. Well, I took all that slurry, that big bucket of muck, took and I filled it up with a bunch of water, and I added a bunch of water to it, and then I poured a bunch of the water off into a bucket, 
And then I took the bottom of that slurry and I uh, brought it out to the garden and I poured all these worms. Hopefully you can see them. I just poured a big blob of that stuff right here. And then I just hosed it in a little bit. So you can see there was a lot of worms just in that bottom of my tub. And they'll just all find their way into the ground here. And we already put some out here earlier in the year. But I'm going to go rinse that brick off and do the same thing with it. And then I'm going to find some different bricks for the bottom of my tub. Okay, well, I got that tub all rinsed out, that brick all washed off. And I wound up with what looks to me like about four gallons of this worm tea. Now you just times that by five and that's like 20 gallons of liquid juice you can feed the plants and anything you want to have extra nutrition in its diet that's plant life 